Those unemployment numbers show just how many people are trying to pay bills on a reduced income. 41 Action News reporter Emma James talked to some financial experts to get recommendations on the bills that you may be able to push back. A local financial advisor tells me there are plenty of ways you can cut spending if you're on an extra tight budget. A good place to start, entertainment and restaurants. You cut those out and you actually have some, some decent sized incremental savings. Alec Bethram with Sternick Capital Management says those with reduced incomes should consider mortgage deferrals and reach out to utility and insurance providers to see what help they can offer. Make sure you're taking advantage of all the programs that are available. For Lindsay Wright, money is tight since she was laid off in March. So every purchase has been, is this an absolute necessity? She's been waiting on her Kansas unemployment benefits for the last two months. Very, very stressful. I would say it's, it's caused a lot of anxiety. She finally got her stimulus check Wednesday. She says she'll use some of the money to fix her car and save the rest. Bethram says times like this serve as a reminder of the importance of saving. A good goal to reach for. About two months of, say, liquid income just set aside in a bank account, so not even something that's invested, but just, you know, they're available. And if you have the means, he recommends increasing your retirement contributions because your expected returns will be a lot better. In Kansas City, Emma James, 41 Action News.